coming in this afternoon and we have got an absolutely stunning Jaguar XKR in for a little bit of a rattle on the front and the customer's complaining of it making a wheel bearing noise. Let's have a little look. Now I've got the vehicle at a working height. Uh, I've gone around all the four wheels and the only thing I can find with a rattle is this upper ball joint. There is rattling. And also if we go around to the driver's side, this wheel here, the actual brake is binding on. So I think what the wheel bearing noise that he's getting is the um, the brakes are getting hot and it's making like a like a jittery noise. So first thing we're going to do is get that wheel uh, off. Now we've got the wheel off, you can quite clearly see that there is a little bit of discoloration in the brake disc. It's probably going to be fine. What we're going to do now, we're going to jump around and we're going to remove this caliper with two sevens at the back, pull it off, and we're going to see what's going on. Once we remove the caliper, um, as you can see, the actual rubber boot itself, because it's an aluminium caliper, it's actually corroded and it's squashing the piston from sliding back nice and easy. So what we're going to be doing on this side is ordering a new caliper for it. Now let's make a start on removing the uh, rear brake caliper. Because this has got flexible brake hoses, you can't clamp the hose. So what we're going to have to do is get a little bar, or there is special tools for it, I'm going to need to put a little bit of pressure on the brake pedal, not a lot, probably about an inch or so down, wedge it against the seat like so, and then that will now stop the fluid from coming out. Let's make a start on getting this caliper off. Now to make things a little bit easier for yourself, remove the brake pads, put them to one side, uh, and then you want to put the caliper back on the carrier, just nip it up, it doesn't have to be tight, it's just going to make it easier for you to remove the banjo bolt and also the handbrake cable which is down the back. Now once you've got the old caliper off, compare it against the new one and make sure everything is identical. And as you can see, it is a brake engineering one and it is remanufactured, but it is also a Jaguar one. Anyway, let's get it fitted. Once we've got the new caliper on, uh, because I don't know whether the brake fluid has been boiled on that one caliper, I have advised the customer to do a full brake fluid change on the vehicle and it is going to improve this car somewhat. What we're going to be using is a Launch Pro Brake 1. I've done plenty of videos bleeding brakes, I'm not going to show you. Now that we've changed the brake fluid and it does look a little bit off colour there, uh, we need to move around now to this uh, near side front upper suspension arm and we need to come into the inner wheel arch, just pull the wiring loom to one side. Now these bolts here are captive so you need to undo them this side. Uh, what I'm going to be using is a long ratchet aviation spanner to remove the two 17s and then we can take it up. Well these upper arms on these Jags, they can be a little bit of a pain a rooney. Uh, this nut here holding the ball joint to the steering, uh, steering knuckle was absolutely solid so I've had to put a tiny little bit of the bottles on it. Now once we've got it undone we need to get these bolts out the back. What we need to do is drop the shock, tilt it that way to get that one out and then tilt it that way to get that bolt out. Bit of a pain. Finally we've got the old upper arm out and there's a new one ready to go in. And it was a little bit of a pain, what I've had to do extra is remove the anti-roll bar link off the lower suspension arm just to give me a little bit more flexibility on removing the shock to be able to pull it round to one side but we have got the bolt out and it is a little bit of a nightmare once you put the upper suspension arm on now we can drop it down and all the weight on the vehicle and we can tighten the four bolts on the strut top mount and we can put the two bolts on the upper suspension arm now eventually we have got the car finished uh, all we need to do now I've torqued the wheels up we're going to take this on a little bit of a test drive but before we do we've given a little bit of a cold start and this thing sounds insane Right, let's go. Now we're in the car. I can't believe how much of a nice day it is outside. Anyway, uh, we're just going to check now that the brakes are pulling up nice and square. We've got no vibrations on it whatsoever. Absolutely perfect. Now we're back at the yard and we're happy with the test where we've got no funny noises and the brakes are working as they should do. Uh, just going to put it back on the four post and out and we're going to do the uh, geometry on it. But anyway, that is a few little jobs ticked off the box in this Jaguar XKR. Anyway, let's get it sent. 